Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. I am the source to settle and OBN expert here at Panamere. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. Before I get started, I wanted to acknowledge Kilo Kondratiev for providing me with some of the key content required to put this deck together. He's an integration expert at OraCloud Plus and here at Panamere. He has years of integration experience and was a key team member on the team responsible for enabling hundreds of OBN integrations and CXML connections at Republic Services. You are watching a buyer supplier integration video. In this video, I provide an overview of Oracle Cloud's buyer supplier integration best practices. This application is related to the procurement functional area. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the procurement functional area. I'll use the following five slides to explain this application. What is buyer supplier integration? Buyer supplier business processes? Buyer supplier integration touch points? Touch point integration best practices? And buyer supplier integration using OBM. But best of all, I'm going to do it in less than five minutes. So let's get started. Slide one What is buyer supplier integration? Buyer supplier integration refers to the range of automation options available to Oracle application customers across all buyer and supplier touch points. Slide two Buyer supplier business processes. This slide shows how the buyer and seller's business processes work together. This is the procure to pay process, and here is its reciprocal supplier order to cash process. Slide three, buyer supplier integration touch points. Here we step through the eight integration points. First, buyer supplier maintenance. Next, sourcing, then contracting, then the cataloging, then the requesting through those catalogs, then the ordering, then billing back via an invoice, and finally, payments. Slide four, touch point integration best practices. So there's lots of ways to connect buyers and sellers. Here are the eight best practice ways using Oracle Cloud. First, bidders and supplier info use a supplier portal. Second, sourcing, again, Supplier Portal. Contracting. While we believe you can start to use the Supplier Portal, lawyers like to use Word. So most often you're going to stay in Microsoft Word or using third-party tools like DocuSign, which are excellent. Next, Catalog Management. So again, Supplier Portal. Then Requesting. There we'll use Remote Cataloging, but we'll use Oracle Cloud. We don't recommend using OBN, although you can, because it's simply an additional point of failure and you end up doing the same setup or more. Next, purchase orders, definitely use OBN. Invoicing and credits, also use OBN. And finally, payments. Then we'll use EFT or what we'll call banking services. And finally, slide five layers in Oracle Business Network or OBN. So if you look in the upper left, you have need to request, approval of the request, and then you have a purchase order. That purchase order goes out to OBN, gives a document, that document gets confirmed into a common standard, and then gets sent out to the supplier who ingests it as a sales order. They then fill and use billing that sells a standard format CXML, which gets what we'll call transformed, I shouldn't say ingested, it gets transformed to OAG, which is what Oracle uses. That comes into an invoice staging table via the import, and then it gets edited into a base invoice and is ready to proceed through payment. Okay, this is this end of this video presentation, but hopefully it's just the beginning of your Panamere journey. Did you know that there are thousands of free videos just like this one on Panamere.com and hundreds more on Panamere's YouTube channel? In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. Panamere wants to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day.